Today, we're going to look at one of the more obscure, forgotten, and unique dumbbell exercises of the 1800s, known as the anvil chorus or clicking the bells. In these drills, two partners mirror each other in various postures and movements, while striking each other's wooden dumbbells. During the period, these strikes would be specifically timed to vocal counting or to music, emphasizing the importance of rhythm, sensory perception, and coordination. The bells, as they were called, must strike crisply, which can be a challenge as when they are not perfectly lined up, they will slide and skip off one another rather than making a clear knocking sound and displacing the other's bell. The exercises we are going to perform today come from Jesse Bancroft's School Gymnastics. Bancroft was an expert female physical culturist from Minnesota who became the director of physical training for New York City's public schools. Timing and striking the bells properly in this exercise are made difficult by being only able to see your partner's movements during a small fraction of the exercise. Keeping one's balance during this exercise is very challenging due to the narrow cross position of the feet combined with the sideward motion of the trunk. Partners are only barely able to see each other's movements with peripheral vision. <laughs> 